A few years ago, China produced a high-speed train named CIT-500, with a speed of 605 km per hour. At that time, the highest speed held by the world record was 570 km per hour. This speed has exceeded the world-class level, and China's speed has become synonymous with fast. Since then, China has continued to make new breakthroughs in the field of high-speed rail. The superconducting maglev project has always been a new project developed by China in recent years. In January 2021, China has developed a prototype train, which has not been officially put into mass production. After the prototype is produced, it can reach a speed of 620 km per hour, directly setting a new record for land transportation speed. Maybe you are familiar with the maglev train, which also has another name called the high-speed rail. Its speed is several times faster than that of ordinary trains. Although the speed of high-speed rails in use today is not as fast as that of airplanes, the fastest train in high-speed rails has recently been developed, that is, the ultra-high temperature and high-conductivity maglev high-speed rail. What's even more exciting is that this high-speed rail is made in China and was completed without any help from other countries. This also further illustrates the leading position of China's high-speed rail in the world. So, what is an ultra-high temperature and high-conductivity magnetic levitation train? How does it achieve a speed of 620 km per hour? Besides being fast, what advantages does it have? Hi! Welcome to Hot Topics Time, a channel to interpret news from a new perspective and explore the wisdom behind the news. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. The super temperature and high conductivity maglev train, from the name, it can be known that the speed of this kind of train may be related to temperature. The high temperature in this kind of train is relative to low temperature superconductors, which means that this temperature mainly refers to the temperature of working in a liquid nitrogen environment, that is, minus 196 degrees Celsius. Superconductivity is a phenomenon when all its resistance disappears under the condition of liquid nitrogen. At present, the common high-speed rail in China uses electromagnetic levitation, while the high-speed rail in Japan and the United States uses electric levitation. These two technologies are relatively mature in the field of high-speed rail, but they require specific conditions. That is to say, electromagnetic levitation needs to be powered on to achieve a levitation state, while electric levitation is a levitating phenomenon in motion. However, for the super temperature and high conductivity magnetic levitation created in China lately, these conditions are not required at all. It only needs to be cooled by liquid nitrogen to achieve a suspended state. The liquid nitrogen content in the air is 78%, which can be transported without any cost of raw materials, and it is also very environmentally friendly and energy saving, so it is far ahead of the existing magnetic levitation technology. This kind of train has a bullet like front. The purpose is to better reduce the friction of the air on it. We all know that ordinary trains need to be supported by wheels, and in some cases, if there is a problem with the wheels or other faults, it is prone to derailment accidents. However, this new type of train has no wheels. You may be asking, how can you drive on the track without wheels? In fact, the track of this kind of train has a magnetic force, and under the action of the high temperature superconductor, the entire body of the train is directly supported. In the middle of these two magnetic poles, a force is formed, which is very important for the train. Because it can drag the train to the track in time when it deviates from the track, so that various accidents can be avoided. So the safety of this train is the highest among all means of transportation. Another advantage of this high-speed rail is that it saves money. Why is that? Well, at the beginning of the video, I already said that when this high-speed train runs, it needs liquid nitrogen for power, and liquid nitrogen is a very cheap material. In addition to its own attractiveness, there is no need for complex operating systems and power equipment in the train, and there is no contact between the body and the track, so there is no friction. Without friction, there is no wear and tear of parts, so frequent replacement is not required, and various costs are greatly reduced. Well, I have to say that the high-tech in reality and the high-tech in the movie cannot be compared at all. The high-tech we see in the movie is only successfully developed at a huge cost, but in reality, what is important is that the cost is low, so that it can survive and be accepted and used by the world. 
When will the high-speed rail with so many advantages be officially open to traffic, it may be a question everyone wants to ask. Although only a prototype train is coming out now, it will not take long for it to be officially put into use. It only needs to pass a few experiments, and mass production is just around the corner. If this kind of high-speed rail is fully put into use, people's lives will be more convenient in the future. We know that the fastest means of transportation is the plane, which can reach 1,000 km per hour, but it is more troublesome for the plane to enter and exit the station. If it is changed to high-speed rail, it will be different, people can save more time, and at the same time it is so safe, which will bring more convenience to people. Coupled with the fact that the speed of high-speed rail has been increased so much now, maybe in a few years or decades in the future, the speed of high-speed rail may exceed the speed of airplanes. If it continues to develop at this rate, people will be able to travel all over the country without so much trouble, and they can just take high-speed rail. Saving time, traveling all over the country without spending so much money, and being safe, which is probably what we all look forward to. So do you think that Made in China can complete these great projects? If you think Chinese can make it, please share this video to let more people know. All in all, it is foreseeable that in the near future, the idea of flying on land will gradually become a reality. Of course, at present, there are still many difficulties to overcome, such as how to further improve the running speed, how to avoid the discomfort caused by the acceleration process. And all of this must reduce costs as much as possible. After all, only low-cost things can be realized, and can they truly serve human beings and promote social development? Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.